everybody. TJ and Farm Boy Transport. We are finally back in Rona. Holy smokes, what a deal that's turned into me. About three weeks to get the heads all that done. Got it on the shop. Uh, we are ready to go. It's going to be ready to rock. Uh, no, no. Uh, pretty much did a bunch of work after I got it home. Bring it home from the shop. No, she wasn't wanting to build air very good at all. In fact, we lose air pressure just sitting there idling. So, oh, well, the air governor took it down. No problem at all. Of course, it's old truck, old bolts, steel bolts into aluminum. You pretty much know how that went. Actually, only went half as bad as it could have. I broke one bolt off. It actually had, it broke up above the head. So, there was enough I could get a vice grips on it. I still got to heat it up, you know. Ten minute job, there's an hour. And of course, the change in the governor out, it discovered, I don't think the governor was actually the problem. The cap goes on the air compressor that the governor bolts to. There's two bolts hold it on. Only one bolt was in. I think it was cocked in there, let the air escape. Not a huge deal, found a bowl, put it all back together. So that's good. Um, had another deal. I just thought the lights were dim. Always have, I never thought the lights were really good on the truck. And I discovered the high beams, put them on high beams, after a little bit they'll kick out. Well, all right, got stupid on that. Breaker, put it on high beam, and after I don't know a minute or so, you cannot have your finger on that breaker. It would just hot, 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 and the relay kick out. So I cleaned up all the grounds on the circuit board, redid all that. Didn't make any difference. It still were dim. So I ended up redoing the, the ground cable that goes from the cab to the frame. Took that apart. And it's nice heavy cable, but the way they had it going to the frame, there was like a, there was a stud, they slid it over the stud, but there's a little shoulder on that stud. So the, the contact area was not even as thick as a penny, and it was all rusted and corroded, so kind of did a little modification there. Uh, got everything cleaned up and back together. That seemed to be what it wanted. Now the lights are a lot brighter. Roof lights, clearance lights are brighter. Everything works better. So it's just that ground. I think so far that's all it's been. So it wasn't a huge deal, but it hadn't been exactly warm out. You're doing everything outside. The wind's been blowing, so could be a lot worse. But anyway. I think we got all that stuff squared away. I got all the chicken lines working, so that's, I mean, I don't care if it runs good, but goddamn it, if I'm gonna be sitting broke down, I gotta have my chicken lines working. So we're good there. So we're headed up today. Gonna try and load up a load of corn, maybe two, we'll see. I can't, can't deliver the corn till the first of April. But I want to get them loaded up. Uh, it's for my son, he's got two loads, 1,800 bushel, two short loads. Sold for the first half of April. But where bins are at, where he's renting, it's, you're pretty much just driving on grass. And it's, it's nice and dry today. We're talking rain. And once it rains, it'll be a nightmare to get in and out. So, get them loaded up today, and we'll be good to go. So that's the plan. We're going to go up, we're going to hook up to our old jet trailer. Uh, I know it's got a couple flat tires, I was kind of walking around earlier today. One reason I'm going to use it is the black Wilson trailer. It's still in Cedar Rapids, it's got the dolly legs fixed. Just haven't got it brought back home. I didn't, didn't want to bobtail down here just to bring it back. So I'll load the, load the jet trailer up, take the Cedar Rapids, get my Wilson trailer, bring it up, load. 
boat in. And probably enough rent a trailer for Levy's. That steel trailer, I mean, it's a nice trailer for hauling from the farm, from the field to the farm. But as far as hauling into town, it's just too heavy. It, just, it doesn't make sense. So, but I'll use it for a ride to get down there. I mean, all I need 900 bushel loads, so it can handle that no problem. But I got a lot, well, not a lot, but yeah, I think 12,000 my father-in-law for April. So might as well have light trailers on it. Get up here and get hooked up to the white trailer. It takes a long time to air up. We'll get her all hooked up. Get the tires aired up and hopefully by then my son will be around. He's busy running an excavator right now. Doing some work for my father-in-law.
Well, we got Rona all hooked up, tires aired up. One thing I forgot to mention, we did make a cosmetic change on Rona while we had it in the shop. And I'm not talking about the winter front. So if you see what it is, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of it. I was definitely on the fence about the change. It's growing on me. Um, so I kind of like it now. At first, I was definitely even thinking about doing it. I was kind of on the fence. And decided to go ahead and do it and got it done. I was like, boy, I don't know, but it's growing on me. I think it'll be, it, it's nice. It'll be make it a little safer. So, yeah, like I say, drop a comment if you see what we did and let me know what you think of it. All right, here's what we got. I know, like I say, a viewer's asking about the augers. Um, don't mind that wiring. It's It's all professionally done. Nothing wrong. This is the unload auger. This takes the corn from the bin. Now this bin, I can't remember what the diameter of it is. It's got a hole, one hole in the center. The corn will flow out from that. And this auger will take it out to here. Dump it out right there into the truck auger. The truck auger obviously will take it up and put it in the trailer. This is an eight inch auger unload auger going into ideally this would be a 10 inch truck auger uh, we don't live in an ideal world it's an eight inch still does a good job but i wish wish we had an eight coming out of the bin into a 10 but we don't so there's that's that this is a sweep auger i was talking about now here in just a little bit kind of show you it's pretty dark in here we got the lid shut but you can kind of see how the corn is coning down in the middle and we'll run it for a little bit but it won't take long and the corn will stop flowing down in that center hole he'll shovel this door out and we'll go ahead and put the sweep auger in. he might not open that bottom door but we'll put the sweep auger in and that will go around and we'll, we'll video it, but it'll start going down through the corn. It'll carry it towards the middle of the bin. Unload auger, take the truck auger. So it does a nice job. You still got to get in, kind of clean up behind it with a scoop shovel and broom. And like I say, if it was the right sweep, it would go just about to the edge of the bin. It's not the right sweep for this bin, so it'll stop about a foot short. So you got end up shoveling all this, so it's not not super hard, but it makes what would be a really easy job it's a little little tougher. But anyway, as soon as he gets here, we'll get things fired up and show you all these augers in action. We'll have to shovel just a little bit more to get that sweep thrown in. Yep, yep. 